Sunday, June 2nd, 3.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at some very unique sky phenomena that's been shared here recently to the website at reports at MrMBB333.com. If you have anything you'd like to share, you can send it to that email address right there. It comes to the website, and your photos and or videos will find their way to the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. Sometimes I will use them in a video, like I'm going to use a few now. I've got a few examples. I get so many that I can't use them all in a video. If I did, the video would be 10 hours long. You guys send in a lot of very good content and I want to share some of that today and we're going to start over in Germany with some photos taken by Melanie and in the photograph when you first look at it you really don't see anything unusual you see some clouds blue sky tree on the left house on the right but what she photographed she heard two jets flying over her house so she went outside took photographs of the sky where the jets were at for some reason in the photograph two other jets appeared above the physical jets that were flying over. She called them ghost jets. And you can see there's one there and one there. They're exact replicas of the jets flying below the layer of whatever's in the sky that's replicating the jets. And this isn't the first time I've received something like this pertaining to something in the sky where there's an exact replica on a layer of something in the sky above it. This isn't a camera anomaly. These things aren't even a light source, you know? The sun's not directly shining on these things, so it's a bit of an anomaly. That's why I'm sharing these. And I also had these photographs looked at by a professional photographer, and I'll tell you how that came about. A gentleman sent me photographs of a moon anomaly. His name's John. He's a professional photographer. In fact, here's uh, some of his work right here. Hawaiian Island of Kauai. This is where he took some photographs of a what he called a ghost moon. You could see another moon in the sky. This was a full moon he took a photograph of back in April. Here's another one of John's websites, and I'll post both of the links to his work down below in the description box. Stop by and check it out. He does phenomenal work highly intelligent man he looked at the photographs of the ghost jets and not only the ghost jets but mary sent in another photograph and you can tell this is from the same neighborhood there's the house right there of a bird off in the distance and you can see in the photograph there's a ghost bird in the photograph look at that up above the bird there's the physical bird there for whatever reason there's an exact replica up above the bird reflecting or somehow casting a shadow on a layer of something above the bird. Very weird. I've gotten another photograph about three weeks ago from a gentleman by the name of Thomas that had a ghost bird in it. Keep in mind, I go through hundreds of photographs throughout the course of a month. That's probably very modest. And I don't recall over the last several months, even years, seeing that type of very unusual phenomena. And here we've got ghost jets. She sent me two photographs of ghost jets. There's one, here's the other one. And like I said, I sent these photographs to John to have them looked at. Not that I didn't trust Melanie, it's just that I wanted a professional opinion to see what he thought would be creating this. And that's a perfect replica of the jets below, look perfect replica it's not just some random shadow it's a perfect replica it's really a unique photograph again melanie from germany took that photograph so anyway i sent the photographs to john and he looked at them he overlaid them in a software he has this is photograph number one up here all right and this is photograph number two down here he overlaid them and he said that they were in a straight line and that they were legit. He said the double image ghost plane is not caused by HDR processing since we see the large distance covered by the jets between the two frames just seconds apart. Your two images combined with my HDR software shows the planes are flying in a straight line and the change in tilt of the plane body between the two photos would indicate these are legitimate. Plus, it would be very difficult for someone to drop these planes into two separate images in the proper trajectory in the straight line. What I initially thought to be cropped to be a cropped outline around the plane may be due to processing of the image by cell phone. I have included some faraway images 
that show what I would expect to be a legitimate photograph. So John is a professional photo photographer. You can find his work here. In fact, he had that same type of phenomenon occur with a cross. It was a very spectacular moment. You can read about it here. It's a very fascinating story. You can also take a look at the uh, rare images from Hawaii of this ghost moon. In fact, I wanted to show you guys what he sent me of what uh, the moon looked like on the night. I forget the exact night in April. It was in April of this year. John took these photographs from Hawaii and he was totally surprised when he saw even the surface features of the full moon reflected back somehow from the photograph that he took from the island of Kauai. Look at that. And it, this was the original color. It was green. Unbelievable. Here's another photograph. You can even see the, the surface features of the moon in the photograph being reflected somehow by something in the atmosphere. And again, you know, he's a photographer. That's what he does. He's an expert photographer. Here's another look at that ghost moon once again. And the reason I asked John to even look at those photographs is, is be, of the jets is because he sent me the photographs of the ghost moon. And that's what he called it, a ghost moon. So unbelievable. That is a spectacular photograph. John Harwood Photography. Check him out. He's a highly intelligent man, great photographer. And here's a photograph, or actually a still image, I took of the moon from Moon Giant. And you can see that that's definitely the moon. You can see the surface features of the moon. It's just reflected back like John was explaining. Like when you take a picture of a mountain across from a lake, you'll see the reflection of the mountain in a lake. Somehow, this is occurring in the atmosphere under certain conditions. And that's an exact replica of the moon. It's just upside down or it's turned a different way. So very fascinating. Thank you, John, for sharing. I really appreciate it. I've got a lot more to share with you guys. Also want to give a quick shout out to B. Brandon and his YouTube channel. That's my son, Brandon. And every day what we've been doing are live streams and we have chats for about an hour, hour and a half each day. We talk about trending topics, different things involving the earth, space, and the solar system. I think you guys might enjoy it. They're live streams, like I said, that last anywhere from 60 minutes all the way up to 90 minutes. So don't forget to subscribe to his channel. You can find it linked below in the description box. Be Brandon. I think you guys will enjoy. Here's another look at that bird that Melanie sent from Germany, the ghost bird. I received a photo from Thomas of a rare image of a bird that was in a photograph that, again, it surprised him as he did not know how... There was a secondary image of a bird in the photograph that he took. I'll share that photograph again in a, in a future video. I've also got some pictures sent in from JT of a chevron. I think this is probably the finest example of a chevron in the sky that I've ever seen. I've also got a little video that I put together of the chevron. I looked at it through different filters and different images to try to get the best possible look that we could get. And here's a close-up look of a perfect chevron, triangle-shaped object in the sky amongst the clouds. You can see it's a slightly different color than its surroundings. Definitely some sort of a craft tucked away up in the sky. Photo taken by JT. Not exactly sure of the location, but that is a legitimate photograph. Almost looks like it went through or was coming through some sort of a light portal. I don't know if the sun seems to be down to the lower right, so I don't know where the light source was coming from, more than likely the sun up near this object, but this photograph here, I've adjusted the contrast, the color, and the saturation. You can see the sun down at the 5 o'clock position, but in some of the photographs, the light was very bright up near the chevron. This is in a complete negative format. In fact, let me stop it. You can almost see some sort of a drawing some sort of a surface feature on this chevron and the reason I use this photograph is because it continues this line right here all the way back into this bright area and you can see where the angle does complete right there in that photograph and that's in a uh, negative this is a another inverted format and you can see the angle goes all the way back into that light area whatever you want to call that portal a hole in the clouds 
got very bright in that area for whatever reasons. But that's probably one of the finest examples of a chevron type triangle craft in the sky I think I've ever seen. And you can also find that at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. Now we've got some sort of a black object over in Garden Grove, California. This video was sent in by Cody. Video was taken just yesterday. And he was quite excited when he saw this thing and it stayed in the same general area. It's not a bird. It's not moving horizontally. It's kind of just making odd movements. There it, it reflected light or it's got a light source. That's why I paused it right there. It did have a light on it, but it's jet, it's jet black. It keeps changing shape. He's doing his best to record this with his phone. It was about, I don't know, five, six hundred feet off the ground there. He just zoomed out. It, like he was explaining, it's, it's very, you can tell yourself, it's very wobbly, but yet for some reason it's maintaining a certain altitude, but it's not moving any uh, direction horizontally or vertically. It's just kind of wobbling there in the sky rather quickly. Every once in a while you'll see a light flash. Have no idea. Again, I'm not claiming to know what this stuff is. I'm just sharing it with you guys as it's just, quite honestly, it's too interesting not to share. And he was very captivated by it. And he saw it firsthand. And we're getting to see it through his video. And he did the best he could trying to record this thing with his cell phone. And I zoomed in the best I could without compromising the pixelation too much. But it's, we've been watching the video now for a minute and a half and it's still in the same exact position. And it's just kind of changing shape, moving around kind of erratically and it does have lights on it of some sort. You saw there just for a, a brief moment there was a light that, in fact let me go back to it, I put a, a instant replay, or not instant replay, I paused it when the light flashed the first time, it flashed twice as he was recording this thing and then if you watch carefully you can see something else kind of come into the field of view next to this dark object whatever it was don't know what it is again don't claim to know what it is it's just too interesting not to share and a couple of times as he was photographing this thing it did shine like right there see that very bright light on the left hand side of this thing don't know what it was but that was taken by Cody June 1st over in Garden Grove, California. Good job, Cody. Thanks for sharing. Now I've got a slide, or a little slide vid I put together of some photos and video that have been shared recently. This was sent in by Stephen. Those are crepsecular and anti-crepsecular rays. Hemet, California, sent in by Jackie. Of a golden sunrise or sunset. Nancy G, big sky beam. I think this was at sunset as well. Santa Fe, New Mexico, Kimberly, right up on top of a very thick double rainbow. Cedar Point, Dusty sent in this uh, roll cloud of a storm that was moving through the area. St. Charles, Missouri, Michael, same type of phenomenon, real low riding clouds waiting for Jesus Christ. A really beautiful reddish uh, pink moon, or not moon, the sun. St. Louis, Missouri, Pablo, get a load of these clouds. Look at that. Looks like something you'd see in a Petri dish in a science project. Wow, great photograph. Thanks for sharing. Augusta, Michigan. This was sent in by Kenneth. Perfectly straight line that you could see as far as you could see in both directions. Look at that thing. Malaysia, Tanangela, beautiful glowing colorful clouds. Andrew, I'm not exactly sure where this was taken, but you can see a very big like curtain-like cloud up in the sky, very thick. Carol from Australia, very colorful cloud. And when you zoom in, you can see what looks like louvers in front of the sun. This one here, I'm not quite sure what to think of. I'm, I'm still doing some work on this, but I wanted to share it with you guys. It was sent in by Isaac, and it's some sort of anomaly that's in the sky to the right hand side of the sun. The sun's over here on the left and I'm trying to decide whether that's some sort of a weird reflection. 
Um, light can play a lot of tricks. Light's very tricky sometimes, especially light from the sun. So I don't know what we've got going on here. Right now, it looks like we have a couple of loops or rings in the sky, but I'm still working on those. But thank you, Isaac, for sharing. Um, we'll come back to that later. We'll revisit those. Maryland, Keith set up a GoPro camera in the night sky, and he's been noticing things. He has a lot of experience at this, by the way. He's not not a rookie. He does this all the time and has for quite a long time. He said he goes through four to 500 photos practically every night. And this is something new that he's been seeing uh, in his camera. And it's this here. That's some sort of a satellite or an airplane. He does see those. He's very familiar with those. This here, he's not. And he said he's seen meteors before many, many times. He said this doesn't look like any meteors that he's seen. That's a neon looking yellowish green, which does fit sometimes when we see meteors. I myself have seen green meteors, not exactly this color, but this is something new to a man that is very, very experienced. His name's Tracy from Maryland, and he has a lot of experience with regard to night sky, um, sky photography. He's very good at it, in fact. And here again, something that he noticed that he cannot quite explain. This is something that's new to him. So don't know what it is, guys. Again, it's one of those photographs that's just too good not to share. We've got something new going on. He thinks there's something new going on, quite possibly related to solar minimum. Um, very well could be right. Right now, don't know. It's kind of a mystery. Here's another look at one kind of zipping through the sky, whatever it was. And it really doesn't look like a traditional meteorite. A meteorite generally has one continuous linear trail. This is, in, in fact, in all of the photos, they're, they're linked up. They're not continuous. You can see there's like like something skipping through the atmosphere. There's two in one in the same photograph. So don't know what we've got going on there. Found it interesting and the colors too, like a, a neon looking green, neon yellow almost. Key, or, uh, Tracy from Maryland sent those in and he takes these photographs. He does videos of the night sky all the time from Maryland with a GoPro and he's quite good at it. Like I said, very experienced, and this is something new to him that he's never seen before. So keeping a close eye on that. In fact, I'm going to try it myself with a GoPro that I have just to see if maybe I can have any luck picking, picking those things up. So we're going to give it a try and see. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for now. Don't forget to check out John's website. You can find link below in the description box. Great work. Very intelligent man. Don't forget to check out the website, MrMBB333.com. It's linked below every video in the description box. All the data you see here is real-time data, updated 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The daily report up here at the top is a newsroom that's updated with new news stories at least once a day, sometimes multiple times a day. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.